Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Golden. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 34 wins, no losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so without further delay, here we go. Round one is underway. This the UFC welterweight championship, and there is the champion out of the red corner working his way to the center of the octagon. He has defended this belt in the past and believes if he can do so again tonight, and here and still, he could go down as one of the greatest 170-pound fighters in UFC history. In order to do just that, he has said, I've got to get off to a good start here tonight. We'll see if he attacks offensively here. A little cut below that left eye. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Liver kick. Try to establish that jab. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. 
He Modified needs to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to the... Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Yeah, great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title. It's another thing to get it done emphatically the way he did tonight. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion, your winner by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. Uh, two minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Hey! All right, so he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champion. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 170 pounds, and he proved that tonight. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, 
This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 35 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your They point. touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so since he earned the strap. We'll see if he can keep it here tonight against the number one contender. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come nice on, loop and go. punch. Girl. Right hook to the head block. Nice leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the floor? Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crotch. Take it for a oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> All right, working inside the closed guard now. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots to the top. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. 15 seconds remain in the round. Straight right, he misses. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. 
All right, here we go with round two. Ready? Round one, pretty good, not Ready? great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at eight seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound king. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? And now our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and the same reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 28 wins 12 losses he stands 5 feet 11 inches tall weighing in at 170 pounds presenting the challenger jake the celtic kid Matthews. and now introducing the champion Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 36 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Not the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. 
Oh, man, notice how he's walking him over to try to get a windshield choke. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. You usually see this in grappling competitions with the gi, John. A lot of downward pressure here, DC. Oh, my goodness, he got the finish. He got the finish with a windshield choke in an octagon fight. That's amazing. I don't sign the bonus checks, but you're rocking a windshield choke in the octagon. You got to think 50 G's coming his way. I mean, that's very, very rare and very hard to pull off without wearing a gi. Well, you've got to admire the toughness, right, to not tap out. Ultimately, he chooses to go to sleep, but offensively, near-perfect execution on that submission. Beautiful transitions, clearly loose with his hips, and everything he did on the ground was near-perfect technique as he ultimately gets the submission win tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at one minute, five seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, and still! the challenger tonight but it goes to the champion congratulations to the still ufc welterweight king and he's gonna take a big effort i would think to defend this yeah he is just a great fighter he does everything so well and the confidence that he brings into the octagon on fight night is unmatched by anybody in this division